Hey guys, um, Scott, and this is Mayhem RC. Um, Want to do a little video for you guys today, a short video. Um, you've seen the video I put up of my um, custom built truggy, and I've never really talked about it, I've never really um, shown what's in it completely. So I'm going to take the camera. Uh, off the tripod and um, show you guys what it's about today. Um, the vehicle started out as a um, Axial SCX-10 II. Um, it was the Blazer, um, so it's that in base. Um, a good friend of mine uh, who built this rig, uh, his name is Orton Camp and it's Camp Fabrication and he's built lots of truggies here for people um, in Georgia. Um, and he may have built some for other people, but I know here in Georgia. But <clears throat> I saw his truggy they built for himself about probably three years ago at one of our events. Um, I'm the event coordinator for the Georgia Rock Zombies. So we do crawler events every year. We have two big events. And the first time that I saw Orange Truggy was at Halloween Hall and Crawl. Uh, we have that every October at Cherokee Rock Village in uh, Leesburg, Alabama. So I saw his Truggy and I, it, it was awesome because his cage was completely one off custom front to back. He didn't start with any chassis, he just built it. So. Um, and he brazes, and so um, it's awesome, and I love it. So anyway, y'all seen lots of pictures. Uh, the video that's on the channel with all the water uh, under the bridge where I was running the truggy, um, it's the blue Chevrolet uh, 66 C10, and um, I love it. It's one of my most favorite rigs. It's a rig that I probably... Um, I don't ever see myself partnering with. So anyway, um, just want to take some time, show you guys what it's about. Like I said, it started out as an SCX-10 II, the Blazer. Um, I don't know if you remember the RTR, the big, um, maybe I'll throw a picture up to so you guys can see. Uh, but it was the blue um, 70, 69 to 70 models, uh, early model Blazer. Um, it came in blue and that's what it started out as. Um, the only thing left on it at this point that actually came from that blazer is the chassis rails. Um, maybe the skid plate and that's it. Everything else has been upgraded and changed. So I'm gonna pause the uh, camera and we're gonna get it out, uh, get it off the tripod and we're gonna look at this vehicle and talk about it. All right, guys, so here it is in its current state. Um, I currently have it set up. Um, not terribly different as far as looks and everything, but definitely you'll have to forgive my shaky camera work. I'm not real good at this. <laughs> Comes to camera work, but yeah, this is... Um, one of actually my favorite rigs. So the way this vehicle started out um, was uh, just a truggy and it had a lot of the stock things on it. It had the stock uh, shock hoops. It had the stock um, transmission, just the uh, regular RTR uh, stock transmission from Axial. Um, it did get uh, an axle upgrade in the very beginning. I picked up some Vanquish um, Rock Jock axles for it. And uh, you guys know how expensive those can be. If you don't, they're like, I got the housings and put my own stuff in them. I took the all the gears and the axles out of the original rig and put into the uh, the axle housings, but the axle housings ended up being um, about two hundred fifty dollars for for both of them. So, 
everything on this vehicle is absolutely custom. Um, it's when I say that, I mean, I know there's a lot of parts that I've bought and put on it, like pro, uh, there's pro line shocks on it. Um, there's, I forgot what, oh, hot racing drive shafts. Um, just a lot of things I'm going to show you guys today. So just wanted you to see the outside of the vehicle and let you see how it looks as it's sitting. And I'm going to pull the body off and we'll talk about all the modifications that's been done to it. All right, with the body off, um, you can see the nuts and bolts, the guts of the whole thing. Um, it is, to me, just an absolute beautiful uh, rig. <laughs> I'm biased, of course, because it belongs to me and it was built for me. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, something that I love greatly. Um, so the way this vehicle started out when it was first built, it didn't have this transmission. Like I said, it had the actual uh, axial transmission in it. Um, but I did start out with great electronics. Um, when Oren built this for me, um, he brought it to me as a roller, uh, actually as a slider because it didn't really have wheels and tires. So I went with the Mama X. The reason I went with the Mama X is because the Mama X to me is one of I'm not saying it's the best. I know you guys got a lot of different um, ESCs and things you like to use, but what I love about the Mama X is it has the uh, crawler mode. So you hit a button on your remote and it goes to full drag brake mode. And then you can rock crawl and you know it'll hang on to rocks and it'll sit on the side of ledges and all those things. But um, the other side of it is it's got where you, you take off crawler mode and it free rolls. So it gives you the ability to, if you want to run fast and this vehicle for what it is, um, it's got an uh, Rock 412 HD 3100 KV motor in it. <clears throat> and I went with that because I watched a lot of videos and thought that that was probably the best motor for this application because this isn't just a crawler. Um, I bash it a lot too. You can look at the, uh, if it'll focus in right there, you can see uh, the scrapes and scratches on the powder coat of the um, of the tubing. And so it gets put through the mill. I mean, look at the body. The body has got scrapes and scratches and has been beat on. And we just had a lot of fun with this vehicle. So, um, but yeah, the Mamba X to me, is just one of the best uh, crawler ESCs. And then you can put a maximum amount of power into it, of course. Um, as this thing progressed, like I said, it had a lot of the stock, it had stock shock coupes, it had the stock transmission in it. Um, it had just regular, um, or I shouldn't say regular, but Proline power stroke shocks, the, like you put on a slash, the rear of a slash, had those all the way around. And, um, so I, as owning this, because it was custom built and because I love it so much, I thought, you know, in my head, if it's going to be the best, it ought to have the best. And now when I say best, that's, these things are my opinion, what I like. You may like other things and that's perfectly fine. I'm just showing you today what I went with. So I went with the, the Vanquish three gear transmission. Um, the housing, uh, just took all the guts out and then, um, out of my other transmission to put in it. And it's just a beautiful piece, um, matches the axles. Like I showed, told you earlier, the axles I had in the very beginning. Um, so it was something I wanted to put into the rig just to make it match the axles and the quality of the axles. So... Um, I mean, in my opinion, I had the best electronics, one of the best transmissions. Um, I put the hot racing drive shafts in it because they are the smaller diameter. Uh, nothing wrong with wild boar. I've never snapped a wild boar um, drive shaft, never have. But um, I just wanted something a little stronger just in case. Like I said, I do blast this vehicle. Um, and then, of course, uh, when it came for the battery... If I'm not mistaken, I think it's Club RC. 
is the one who makes this battery tray. Um, it fits right between the, the um, frame rails. It, I don't remember, I know that says Viterra. Um, that was just the shortest battery um, Velcro I could find. So that's what got put in there. But um, this mounts right where the shock coops mount uh, on the outside, uh, on the inside of the chassis where the bolts go through. So, and it just, it's very strong, very durable. It doesn't move and gives you a great place. And it, it holds all different kind of, you know, different sizes of batteries. Um, the shock coops I went with, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think these shock coops are, um, they're just a China. I don't think they were Vanquish. I don't believe so. To be honest with you, I forgot where I got the shock coops from, but I did upgrade from the plastic ones to aluminum shock coops, and I went with some anodized gray to go with the, you know, closer match to the powder coating. Um, the front bumper mount, again, I bought it early on into, I believe that's STRC. Um, not 100% sure about that, but it's uh, it turned my servo, so it gave me room for my battery tray. So that's what I want. Now, the servo is something very special to me because that is a Reefs RC servo. Um, I'm a Reef RC team driver and uh, I support Reefs uh, servos and his whole product line 100% because, not because I'm a team driver, but because of the quality. I wanted to become a team driver because the quality of these servos and all of Reefs parts. But this servo is very special to me because I have a nephew that has autism. And I love that kid to death. He is just awesome and amazing in every way. And as you can see, Reef put this servo out. And it, um, I think, I can't remember. Well, there it is right there. That's how many was made. This is 36 of 227. And I bought two of them. And... It completely went to benefit ASD. So um, that's something near and dear to my heart. And I'm very um, into doing the uh, Autism Walks, Autism Speaks, and supporting um, this great cause because, frankly, there's just not enough done for um, the people in the autism, in the community that of people that have autism. Um, insurance doesn't cover the things they need um it's just uh it's something that's just really overlooked and it shouldn't be but um so that's why that servo is there um and it's it's a what it is is a reef raw 500 that has a special case on it uh the raw 500 is one of reef's best most durable crawler servos it's fast and it's got a lot of torque so it's um it's i think it I should have gotten the box out so I could read you the specs, but it is 500 inch ounces of torque at 8.4 volts. And that might be at 7.4, and it might be a little more than that on 8.4. But I know it's, with the Mamba X, right now it is pushing 500 inch ounces of torque, and you have no problem turning these wheels anywhere you want to turn them. So, um, but so I went with that Reef Servo Horn. Uh, the links are custom made by um, Camp Fabrication. I'm going to just tilt the vehicle over here right now. Those front links are Delrin, and they're Delrin plastic, so they will slide, but they're very, very strong. They don't flex. They don't give any, like, you, you know, they'll flex a little bit side to side, but if you're rock crawling and these slide over rocks like nobody's business and love that, the... Um, the battery or the ESC trays uh, right there on the side, those were 3D printed by Camp Fabrication as well. And then, of course, there's the original skid plate that came out of the blazer that I talked about earlier. Um, 3D printed, uh, Camp Fabrication 3D printed me a fuel cell. I put it up there. Uh, some scale accessories. I used some, what is this? Uh... And these glued back in. See, see, I don't. My my rigs aren't shelf queens. They get beat up. But this is just some um, uh, styrene that I mounted there to just be able to put on some more scale accessories. Now the shocks. These are uh, Proline Pro uh, Pro Scaler shocks. 
Um, they are just buttery smooth and they are nice. I love these shocks. They got pretty thick weight in them. I believe these have 50 weight in them because um, I like how it just has that really smooth uh, motion to it. So that's why I would do it that way. And of course, just to flip around this side to show you, I run Spectrum Remotes and um, they just happen to work great for me. Now this vehicle doesn't have a winch because, well, it's more of a trail rig. So I've never really needed one. And last but not least, the tires and wheels. Um, this has had a few different tires on it. It has had, um, Hmm, what did it start out with? It started out with Hyrax, Proline Hyrax, and then it had some Proline crawlers on it. Um, and then it even had some pit, pit Bull Rock Beasts on it. And then I finally settled with these because uh, these are a very soft tire. And so they grab really good on the rock, but they also work really good in uh, like dirt and sand and stuff. So these are made by I believe RC four wheel drive, but I could be wrong about that. Um, I honestly can't remember who makes these. I think it is RC four wheel drive, but if I'm wrong, you guys can correct me in the comment section. Um, but these tires are awesome. They're four seven fives, and uh, they they've got really good soft compound to them, so they crawl really well on rock. And then last but not least, these are the Ruthless Wheels from Reefs RC. Um, these wheels are absolutely beautiful. These wheels are different than a lot of bead locks that you get today, um, whether they be Vanquish or um, Chanquish as people call them. These are a solid piece of billet aluminum that these were, car they, these were CNC'd out of. Um, there is no insert inside this uh, tire like you know, most bead locks have the insert ring you put inside, and then you you bolt the two pieces. It's a three-piece wheel. It has an inside, an inner, <laughs> if I can talk right, it has an insert inside the tire, and then it has a front side to the bead lock and, and a rear, and you just squeeze the tire together, and that's, uh, or the wheel together, and bolt it together, and that's how you get your bead lock. Well, these are true bead locks. All 24 of these screws hold that bead lock on just like real bead locks. And on the back, if I can get the camera down there for you to see, it only has six that holds on the back rim. But you do have to install, so that's, that's 30 screws per wheel to make this tire bead lock. But they look absolutely phenomenal because, well, they look just like a real one-to-one -one wheel. Um, so, Yes, I know I'm partial to Reef RC, but these wheels are absolutely beautiful. These are the hammers. Um, that's what they're called, and they're made by Ruthless, and they are just beautiful. Uh, but this is where the Truggy came to. Um, like I said, it wasn't always in this state. Um, I think the last upgrade I made in the transmission was I went to a Vanquish, if you can see it here. Yeah, uh, I deleted the um, the slipper clutch. So that is uh, a Vanquish Spur Gear. I forget the name, what it's actually called, but it's it, it deletes or removes the slipper clutch. So it's just fully locked, um, direct drive transmission now. So there is no slip in that at all. And I have had no trouble out of this in any form or fashion. And then for the front bumper, I just wanted something. Now this is, this is like the cheapest thing on here. This is an RC four wheel drive bumper that I cut up just so that the body would have something behind it in case it hit. Um, it's not for looks, it's not for anything but just to save the front of the body. And because I didn't want a, a bumper coming out the front of the body. I wanted, you know, this to look like the actual bumper. So. That's why I did that. So it's just an RC4 drive bumper that I carved up and put behind it just to keep the body stable. But yeah, guys, this is, um, if you've ever wanted to know, cause you, a lot of people commented on the video about it's a beautiful truck and it is a beautiful truck. 
And I'm very thankful for Oren with Camp Fabrication for building it for me. Um, I'm going to pause the video and put the uh, camera back on the stand and then talk to you guys for just a few minutes further. And I'm going to put some pictures in at the very end of this so you can see some progression of how this went. Um, these weren't the original wheels that were on it. It started out with gold Chanquish wheels. And then it went to um, some Pitbull RC uh, race line wheels. They were the clutch uh, and they were, you can see those in the other video. Those are the ones that are on the rig when it's in the water. Um, this thing is just a blast. Like, it is 100% waterproof. It has been through more water than a submarine. <laughs> kind of, sort of. But, uh, man, it's just, it, it does everything I want it to do. I love this rig. And I uh, just wanted to take some time to show you guys about it. So I'm going to pause the video one more time and I'm going to get this camera back on the stand and talk to you guys for a few more minutes and let you go. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, thank you for uh, subscribing to the channel. Those of you have, if you do like my videos and I am going to really, my work schedule has been absolutely insane uh, with the pandemic and everything. I really and truly um, intended on making more videos in the last year than I did and everything was just so crazy um, I never stopped working through all of this it was it was a lot so I just didn't really have the time but I hope to make some more videos and I really appreciate those of you who watch those of you that subscribe um, those of you that like the video if you like the video then give me a thumbs up if not then give me the thumbs down and tell me why. Don't just hit the thumbs down button. Tell me why. Tell me what I did wrong because I'm really trying to make these better. But I just love the hobby. I want to share it with you guys. Um, if you're anywhere near Georgia or Alabama, uh, like I said, May, um, October 16th will be our annual Halloween Hall and Crawl. It's just a huge trail event. It's not a competition. Uh, us with the Georgia Rock Zombies, that's not what we do. We don't do like rock crawling competitions, but we do a lot of fun trail runs. So um, if you guys are anywhere near Cherokee Rock Village, look it up. If you've never been to Cherokee Rock Village in Alabama, Leesburg, Alabama, you need to go there because it's absolutely amazing. Um, but I'm gonna um, get off the video now, um, but I'm gonna put up some pictures for the end of the video, uh, like I said, of the progression of this, so you guys can see where it, where it started and you've seen where it is now. And I appreciate all the likes, all the comments that I've gotten on the other video. Uh, it's kind of a still picture running video in a way. A lot of pictures that were taken from an actual run. And uh, you guys have put out a lot of comments and I really appreciate that. So thank you for watching. Thank you for all, all the likes, all the comments. Please feel free to say whatever you feel. Talk about your um, your custom builds and uh, if you have any questions I'll answer all that I can if I don't have the answer I'll get the answer um, and check out Reef RC Reef um, if you've never owned one of his servos give it a shot so a lot of people say well they're expensive yeah but you won't buy another one like you can buy four cheap servos off of Amazon or eBay or you can buy one reefs and uh, it gets the job done. So that's uh, just my opinion, how I feel about it. But um, to me, reefs is the best servo out there. And uh, you're like, are you advertising for them? Not necessarily like advertising for them. I'm just telling you that in this hobby, I like good products and reefs RC absolutely puts out a great product. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having an awesome weekend. It's raining a lot here in Georgia. Haven't been able to do much RC, but get out, play in the dirt, play on the rocks. Um, there's something about these little vehicles that just takes all the stress away. <laughs> At least it does for me. I hope you guys again are having a wonderful weekend. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.